Bessarion station is the least used subway station in Toronto, with only 2,400 passengers per weekday. And Ellesmere station is the least used rapid transit station of any type, with only 1,400 passengers per weekday. But if you include all railway stations in the city of Toronto, you find York University GO station on the GO Transit Berry Line, which serves only 225 passengers per weekday. Despite its name, York University GO Station is not in York University, or even next to it. It's located two kilometers east of campus, with nothing but industries for a kilometer in every direction. On weekdays, the university runs a shuttle bus between the station and York University bus terminal, which actually is located in York University. But it's only open to York University students and faculty. For anyone else, it's a 20-minute walk. There's not much to York University Station. The only entrance is this walkway squeezed between two industrial buildings. The walkway takes you directly onto the signal platform. It has some shelters, but not much else. There's no ticket office, but fortunately the ticket machine was working fine when I visited. There is a bicycle rack, but it's not protected from the elements like the ones at other stations. Since the Berry Line doesn't have any express trains, York University Station gets a lot more service than you'd expect in such an isolated location. On weekends, trains serve the station all day in both directions, even though the shuttle bus to York University doesn't run, and most of the industries nearby are closed. As a result, the train often stops, but no one gets on or off. The station's days are numbered, because at the end of 2017, Downsview Park GO Station will open, which is connected to the Line 1 subway extension to York University and beyond. Since the new subway line will take about the same time as the current shuttle bus, it wouldn't make sense to keep both stations operating. The Berry Line is currently being expanded from single track to double track, so if York University Station were to remain open, GO would need to build a second platform and a pedestrian tunnel to access it. And those changes could cost more than the $700,000 it cost to build the station in the first place. The new Downsview Park station will be a vast improvement for passengers. It's a proper train station with a passenger drop-off area, an indoor waiting area with a ticket office, and a direct connection to subway services, and most importantly, a pedestrian tunnel to a second platform.